That's a more recent change to it. Yeah. Um, did you just go up one pot size, or did you go larger than that? I went up uh, one pot size. Okay. Typically, that's going to be okay. Okay. Because um, so, sometimes we can, you know, if, if we if we go up too large mm -hmm. at uh -huh. a time, then sometimes it is easier to overwater. Uh -huh. um, just because you have a greater volume of soil there, even though right. it's you know potting soil that drains well, um, and the, and there's drainage in the container, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, now the the days are longer. If it's in the same, is it in a window? It's it? yes. It's near our big window, but it doesn't get direct sunlight. Okay. All right. Man. Now, now the the yellowing is it on the older leaves or newer leaves? Um, it would be the older ones towards the bottom of the uh, plant. Okay, and it's planted at the same depth that it was before. Right. Okay. All right. You're eliminating things. Um, I yeah, can I'm tell. eliminating things, and, and you've a lot eliminated of things to everything. eliminate. <laughs> uh, and, you know, unless there was, it's just responding to that transplant uh -huh. time that that for some reason it's maybe the roots were damaged a little bit <clears throat> when you removed it from the other pot. Was were the roots in good shape? Were, they appeared had, to be okay, and they seemed like they had filled out uh -huh. the container that they were in. So we had good. Right. All right, and then did you um, adjust those roots any, or? I just put it, put them in with you know the new soil and put them in. Okay, were the roots growing around in circles? Oh, like boy, I didn't remember looking for that. Okay, I mean that would have been when you popped it out of the other pot. Uh -huh. um, if the soil really held well together and there were roots around the whole way around the outside uh -huh. of that soil ball. You know, pushing against the the pot. Right. Um, sometimes it's good to just tease those out a little bit because they'll keep growing in a circle rather okay. than expanding out. And so don't um, be pot bound. Y yes, if it was, that's right. So if it was pot bound in that other container, and some African violets, I don't think do that as much as some of some other plants will. Uh -huh. um, but that would be just something to check if those roots need need just and then in, in the bottom uh -huh. they can get really circular there too that you get this mass of roots that keep growing in that same circle uh, and that sometimes can cause some some stress to the plant okay uh, just check right, that well. there's not very many insects that will bother those mm -hmm. really uh, and it may just a little bit of yellowing can go back to, you know, too much moisture, not enough moisture. Oh, okay. Um, it, it could have just been a little bit of transplant shock, trying to uh -huh. get used to its new new conditions um, in a new container that you're losing an older leaf. Uh, and how many, have you lost any leaves yet? Mm, no. Okay. All right. No, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful plant, but I just was concerned about the yellowing. Yeah, and it may be trying to to grow some. Um, and does it have new growth on it? Yes, it does. Okay, all right, that's a good sign. Since okay. the transplant. Yeah, since the transplant, it's looking pretty good, other than that leaf starting to yellow. Okay, well, Okay. Um, I thank you for your help, and we'll just see you what could, it does. Yeah, you're, you're you doing could, the right things. Okay, you could well, You could take a... Take a white piece of paper, hold it underneath that leaf, and just, it's hard to tap those plants. They're a little sensitive to, um, but to see if there might be spider mites. Okay, I can check that. Because um, they're, they're pretty tiny, but if you lightly tap the branch uh -huh. uh, or leaf over top of a white piece of paper, if they're on there, you can usually get them to drop off and... Okay. And then you'll see them on the white piece of paper because they'll be scurrying around. <laughs> okay. Then... All right. Well, thank try. you so All much. Right. We appreciate the call. All right. Thank you, guys. Have Bye -bye. a good day. And, and sometimes we will lose older leaves on a plant. Mm -hmm. You know, as we get new leaves on that plant, if conditions aren't quite right, um, we can sacrifice an older leaf or two yeah. so that we get new growth. Yeah. 
And I think on on house plants, that's often very common. We can lose some of that oldest growth because we may not have enough light. It is a mm-hmm. can be a big reason, and then humidity um, is a, is another one. All right, that, that can mess us up. We, I don't so, want to run out of time here. Yeah. But if, on our window this morning, we found this. What is a baggie that was taped? Uh, yes. And, and in the baggie, there was bag. there was a leaf. Yes, there's a leaf of a peace lily. Did whoever left this here actually leave you a note and say what's going on with this? Yeah, there there is a note here. Okay, you, tell us all about you didn't, it. You didn't get to read it. I did not. Oh, boy, it's a big one. Because it was dark when you came in this morning. Uh, right? Well, Andy actually found it. Here. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> Were you afraid to open it? How about the? <laughs> well, that's Jake. So I know that's Jake. <laughs> but when Andy, we're, we'll get Andy to respond wherever, <laughs> wherever he is. All right, so um, what's what's the deal with this? All right, so we have a couple leaves here, and we have – actually, it's kind of turning uh, blackening around the leaf edges. Yeah, it is. Right? That's a house plant. And that's a house plant, peace lily. Um, fairly, fairly common house plant. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times people give or receive those at, at the death of someone else mm-hmm. or sometimes, you know, for a special occasion. Mm-hmm. Um, so they want to know what's going on with this. And yeah, so we're getting, you know, and it may started have started off as browning, although on these it does tend to be a darker appearance when when the edges of the leaf die. Mm-hmm. Uh, some plants are like that. They'll turn black instead of other colors. Sometimes ferns will do the same thing. Instead of browning, they'll, they'll turn black. Uh, but in any case, the foliage is dying around the edges. Uh, and I suspect that it's probably related to water, either too much. Um, peace lilies do like to dry out a little bit, almost to the point of wilting before we water them again. Um, another case could, and humidity is the other thing. Although, you know, lately we've been... We've been very humid. We've been very, very humid lately. Yeah. Although, indoors... Maybe um, not. And I'm, let's see... It's not kept in direct sunlight. Uh, it's not. It's not. She's not fertilizing it. Uh, large container with good drainage. Uh, so indoors, sometimes, depending on our heating and cooling systems, mm-hmm. it could be drier inside. Okay. You know the humidity levels could be down, and if you run a dehumidifier all summer long, mm-hmm. um, that can reduce the amount of humidity in the air also that it could be related to both the watering uh, as well as the humidity that might be around the plant. So that's a tropical-style plant? Yes. And therefore, it likes the humidity? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So humidity might be the problem here? It Yes. Okay. And, um, and so if we have low humidity levels and then maybe we uh, it dries out too much, then that can – kind of make this worse and get this leaf edging effect. Mm -hmm. Um, You could also have this if you over-fertilized, but that doesn't appear to be the case with this. Okay. Um, So we can maybe rule that out. Uh, After a while, those can also become pot-bound. So we were just talking about a transplanting a plant. And um, so they can grow. So I would also check the plant in the container uh, and then – you know, see what the root system's like. If it's really, if there's all kind of, if it's just one big mass of roots the whole way around the perimeter of the pot, um, then it's time to upsize the pot one size. And as you said and, uh, uh, to the other caller, tease them a little bit. Yeah, break those. You can actually. Call them names. Right. You, you, you can. <laughs> you're, you're growing around the circle. I got 20 uh, seconds here. Okay. So anyhow, when you get those pot-bound plants like mm-hmm. that, you can actually cut the roots uh, because they'll just keep growing in circles if you don't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on the bottom of the pot, the same thing can happen. We usually cut those and, and turn them outward uh, when we put them in, the, in a larger pot. And sometimes you can even trim those off um, because those roots then will branch um, and grow again. And After there you go. This has been a fun segment. We need to do this more often. Come take more things on our windows next week. Yeah. <laughs> it is the voice of Indiana County WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160.